Welcome back to the Origin Summer Preview 2015. I'm Eric Summer here with Matt Wolf, and Hello. this is a game of yours coming soon from Eagle Griffin, sort of a close to final prototype right. of Wombat Rescue. That's right. So, Tell us about it. All right, so first, Eric, what do you know about wombats? Uh, if very little. I know they have a stomach from this uh, card here. Did you not study wombats in high school? I, okay. I, I failed wombat <laughs> rescue 101. So, so the really interesting thing about wombats is that they poop cubes. And this is true in real life. They actually poop cubes. Okay. So all these cubes in the game, these are actually poop cubes. Okay. The reason why they do this in real life is because they have terrible eyesight, but they have an excellent sense of smell. So they use their poop cubes to kind of navigate their environment, and that's how they get around. So they couldn't tell that, oh, hey, there's a tree over there. But they would. You know, there's purple poop in the. That that's right. So they, oh, oh, I remember where I am now, and I I know how to navigate this area. Okay. Okay. See, I'm learning things already. That's right. This is an educational podcast. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so in this game, uh, what you're doing, you are playing as one of the mama wombats. And the dingo has scared away your babies. Your babies, of yeah. course. And we need to go and find them and rescue them. Okay. And then the problem is that we can't see where they are. We have to navigate by smell. So what you're going to do, you're going to move around on the board. You're going to eat food. All these discs are food. Okay. They have various values that are on your player board yep. here. Uh, they're actually grasses, herbs, and roots. It doesn't really matter for the game, but that's sure. actually what wombats eat in real life. Good. Okay. Then uh, you're going to be digesting food on your turn. Yeah. So on the awesome player boards here. I'm, 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 yep. And so at the end of each turn, you got to digest. When food moves off your player board, <laughs> wherever you are on the board, you're going to produce a poop cube okay. somewhere. Yep. And so if I'm all the way out here, I would drop one right there. And what this allows you to do, this ex expands your smell area. So each of your poop cubes has a radius of two uh, within you know how to move. You know how, how to navigate that area. Okay. So now I've got this smell area the here. The more you poop, the more, uh, more area you can cover on the board. That's right. That's right. So I can move all the way into here, anywhere there, because that's my entire smell okay. area. Okay, yeah. If this wasn't there, let's say I'm here, as soon as I leave, from a radius of two around there, I'm outside my smell area, I don't know where I am anymore. Yeah. And so now I'm, I'm lost. If I wanted to move, you'd have to reveal a card and move to one of those two hexes. Ah, and so sort of blindly stumbling about if that's you right. haven't pooped recently. That's right. But because I had that poop cube there, I'm still within my smell area. I could try to navigate up here, get one of my babies, and try to bring them back home. When you're able to do that, Take your baby, you put it in your pouch because wombats are marsupials, so they yes. have a pouch. And then when you manage to get back to the home, you get to put your baby on the home spot like that. So it's okay. a it's a pick yeah. up and deliver pooping game. There's a little bit of pick up and deliver. It's mainly focused on uh, network building and, and yep. route building as you're trying to build up your your smell area on the board. Okay. And, and the, other, the only other thing, all players have special action tiles that yep. they can do once during the game. Uh, like this guy here, this is everyone's uh, favorite. This is the high fiber diet. This one means if you aren't quite ready to poop out a cube, but you're somewhere where you desperately need to. <laughs> you really need to poop. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can do it right away. You have the ability to yep. do that right now. And now I'm back in my smell area. I can okay. navigate how I want. This one is the opposite. This one is the hold it in card. <laughs> yep. So, so I don't want to poop there. Yep. I already have a cube right. there. Why would I want it to go again? Right. So yeah, I'm going to wait till it's more advantageous for me in order to, uh, to, <laughs> to produce another poop cube. Uh, and then these guys, this will allow you to move up one extra space. Yep. And this one here will allow you to run home uh, no matter where you are on the board once in the game. When gotcha. you use these guys, you're going to flip them over, and, okay. and then they're done for the uh, for the game. Okay. So yeah. this is on Kickstarter right now. It is. So yeah. what's the what's the timeline? When it funds, it, it should we should see it when. Uh, so it's the project is running until June uh, 15th, I believe it is, okay. and uh, we're already funded. We're into stretch goals at this point. Okay. Uh, there, Eagle Griffin is targeting a September October release. Uh, I think they want to try to get it out in time for Essen. Uh, so it should be pretty quick. Um, they we already have the uh, all the digital files and. Yeah, you know, okay. proofing them now, and so hopefully it'll be a nice, smooth uh, production once they, they hit the the, All right. the green button on the presses. Okay, yeah. so fun and educational wombat rescue. That's right. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. 
Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.